In this video, I'll show you how to do step two of the unit four project for bioinformatics. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to find a sequence to be the root of our tree. And we can do this in a couple different ways. Let's start by picking the COVID-19 causing SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus. And once we've limited to that virus, we are going to be able to look at all of the different sequences that are available. Now the sequences you found in step one are most likely going to start with the MT number in their accession number. And that's because they're GenBank sequences and they have not yet become reference sequences. What I want to do for making the phylogenetic tree is I want to have a rooted reference sequence that is actually the first sequence that we have for this virus. We can do that by looking at sequence type and you see there's only one RefSeq available, so I can select it. And now I have the accession number for the reference sequence. This was sequenced in China in December of 2019. So it was released in January 13th, 2020, uh, but it is the first full genome that we have for this virus. So I'm going to turn off RefSeq because I don't want to limit us to RefSeqs for the phylogenetic tree. And I'm going to click accession number. This will allow me to select specific sequences to go into my tree. So I'm starting with the reference sequence. And then I'm opening up the spreadsheet from step one and copying all of the accession numbers. When I submit, I will have only 11 sequences instead of all of the known genomes for SARS-CoV-2. I can select them all and I can build a phylogenetic tree. This phylogenetic tree is put together quickly in part because of some pre-computed alignments that are already done. And one thing that's really nice about this is the NCBI virus tool is using a special form of BLAST that was developed for surveillance of influenza. So you can see in the URL, um, this is using the tool FluBlast to be able to make this phylogenetic tree. And we're able to do a comparison, not just of a single gene within the viral genome, but we can align the entire genome to see the relationship between the different isolates. So each of these isolates is now represented on the tree. You can see the reference sequence is right here. And in order to use this tree in R, we simply need to click on Tools, Download, and select the NUIC file. Once you have the NUIC file downloaded, this is the file that you'll submit to Canvas for Step 2 of the Unit 4 project.